Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Gallery. And that is a 12 by 16 inch canvas. And these are little tiny swipe cards. A couple of them are small and beveled, which I hope going in different directions. Hopefully I can remember to use them that way. These I have rounded ends on. I'm not sure what the deal is with those, but um, it seemed like a good idea at the time. So I'm going to leave all these where I can find them. Cross your fingers. And I'm going to put some... I'm going to make moisture in, in the middle. I'm going to use frosted berry. See, I don't know if you can see. I have li chalk lines. I want five flower heads. And I want to be able to put greens at the bottom. And last time I did this, I just put a puddle of paint and then put more colors on top of it, which kind of worked well because it seems like copious amounts of paint do help produce cells. But this time I don't really want anything more than a moist background. Although I am going to push my envelope down and up. That's down for me. That's up. And I'm thinking about coming up here at the top with some black. But the reason I'm doing this badly is because I want an organic edge. And this is kind of a new thing for me. You'd think I'd done it all by now with 3,000 videos. I have playlists with 30 playlists with 100 on, 100 videos each. And if you guys ever like a certain style of something or other, anything, just let me know because I've got them all organized by topic and genre as well as by the hundred. So there's some paint to begin with. I don't want to do the bottom half yet. I'm nervous about that. I'm going to wipe off my spatula on my studio rag. Let's see if I've got some paint left to use up. This is some custom paint that I... Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't think it's going to help or hurt, but it's going to add moisture and cell potential. It was a custom color that I didn't write the measurement, write the recipe down. And now it's going in the bucket so I can recover the marble that's in the bottle. Because I ran, I, I organized my studio and hid my marbles on myself. Go figure. Okay, this is Snapdragon. And I'm thinking if I peel that little paint chip off the top. There we go. I'm definitely thinking if I put these in different configuration I might have more chance of getting what I want but I don't know that to be true. So Snapdragon is a primary element. This is a vivid intense fluorescent. This is a red violet. I didn't think it just about, about putting these things in circles but I can which means in a pinch I could actually pull out one of my old balloons and I think I'm going to, I was going to go around all of them, but I think I'm going to put some jasmine in instead. Jasmine is a primary element. I hope it looks better in the end than it looks like right now. I've got some sour lemon. I think I'm going to wait on that for a moment. I think I'm going to use some of this. What I'm indigo violet is a prism pour, and it reminds me a lot of the Snapdragon actually. I don't really want any of that pink showing at the end, so that should be very interesting. <laughs> a challenge. This is frostbite with a little bit, a drop of red violet with a bunch of ultramarine blue. And 
And if I want to put the orange in, I'm going to have to put something between it. I'm not impressed yet. So I've got saffron and orange crush. I'm going to use some orange crush first. I probably could have put them all in the same way. That might even have been a good idea. That was the Orange Crush. I want some gold in there. Try not to be too precise about anything because they're abstract flowers no matter what. Gosh, I'm nervous about this. <laughs> Here's my saffron. Pop that bubble. I might come back in with a little bit more jasmine or maybe pink diamond. But definitely more pink. I've got some Burmese red from that's a primary element from the Fairy Tales collection. It's pretty dark though. Kind of makes me nervous. It takes so long to put things down. This is um, the threatened sour lemon with orange crush in it. That's going to save the day as long as I don't make mud. I'm liking these colors. I'm kind of hoping that the green is going to cover up my my excess pink. Not my favorite pink. This is another favorite pink. This is the pink diamond. And do I want any more purple? No. I'm good with for purple. Let's do one last dose of the, the jasmine. Kind of wanted more yellow than that. It occurs to me the flowers are probably going to stay. I might wind up spiraling the center to them out. All right, so let's do above the flowers. Get some of these things out of the way. Hope we have enough time. That is my mead and black paint that I use for priming canvases. And it is mixed with just Floetrol and GAC 800. Goody, it's swallowing that pink, which will probably have, it'll probably have other things dragged over the top of it. Now, let's wipe my spatula off on the bottom down here. And I wanted to pull down, so let's use some cell activator. hoping that I have enough time for what I have in mind and we'll see. It's a process. I just want cells on either side of the flowers, but I think I'm going to have to go down from underneath also. I kind of regret not using some white in there, but I suppose I could. All right, I've got a wider card.
it should not make any difference if I do what I say I'm going to do and put green at the bottom. No idea if this will work. Let's grab some of that. Well, I was going to put some white on. Maybe I could try it. I think when I do the bottom, I'm going to use some teal boom gel though. wondering if this is going to work. So I'm going to use a little bit of agave blue. I've got some vivid intense what I'm assuming is turquoise, but I need a spoon. I had a spoon a second ago. I'll just use a palette knife. And it's very, it's liquid as compared to the rest, so it'll help everything flow, I think. It's also in much less danger of drying up. This is my Fandango. Which is a prism pour. And I want a little bit of purple in there. And across your fingers we get something interesting. I kind of want to swipe with something other than what I've got. I don't think it's big enough. So, let me grab my white cell activator. Not sure what I'm doing here. I'm going to try and flip this around. I need a scrape dish. I'm going to make sure I keep using more cell activator because I love the way that looks. So I push it down a little bit. And I can always fill in the missing, I saw a little gap over here. This one's got a rounded tip on it, which means I can taper my mark out as I get to the end. I might just drag a spatula up through. Definitely time for more cell activator in my butter. It's the bottom of a butter dish is what I'm using. So the majority of my cells, unless I put some cell activator in and blow into my flowers, which I just occurs to me might be a great idea. I have no idea what I'm doing because I'm doing it upside down, but I like the cells that I do see. And I like the black as an accent anyway. I probably could have done this with a bloom technique with a whole lot less paint in those flowers. I haven't dragged my finger through anything yet. I've got two minutes and then a few more minutes, so we might be able to actually get this done. Let's go back to the way. Oh, I dribbled. 
So I read it's cell activator. It's probably what I want to put there anyway. Hopefully my head isn't in your way the whole time. Just going to take the paint that dripped over the edge. I've got three minutes which ought to allow me to tell you that I do sell my artwork and I give classes at the house in Springfield, Florida. And if you'd like to reach me for information about either one of those things, just use my email address. It's E-A-S-P-B and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I've wanted to do this up from the bottom with the foliage thing for a long time. I was really nervous it would be very difficult to do. And it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But I do want to cover my edges, and I could black them out. Alright, so now I'm going to have a look. Decide if I'm going to grab a spatula. Go up through. Mm, not too thrilled about that. I think that needs to be green up there. I'll just try and fix my faux pas, pop my bubbles. I really want to blow out I'm gonna fix that right now. I gotta be careful because I cut the tip open. I'm going to try it right after I fix these, potentially. So you'll have some kind of an idea what I have in mind. Even if I don't get to finish. Let's take a straw. No more hard lines in between. Let's take a little cell activator. a little more cell activator. I've got one minute left. I cannot do what I need to do, but um, I can definitely tell you guys I love you. And then I'm going to blow out all those flowers so you're going to see what it looks like in the thumbnail, and then I'm going to put some more green stuff at the top. Oops. And I can probably tell you it's going to look something similar to this over here. And I might touch up this one spot or two. I love you guys. I hope you come again. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida saying I love you.